Okay, and that fair water that. turned around and built a new gym, and theirs was higher than ours was. But the fact is that you had the choice of where you sent your tax dollars. They to. did too. Yep, and the people that are getting an annex right now, Marcel, mm -hmm. they have a choice? Yeah. No, 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 because we're back to the boundary problem. Are we going to stay? I mean, we can. If you guys want to stay confined to the area that we're in and call it a day, I'm sure the council would probably agree with it. But if we're going to look at any kind of economic development outside of the... Can we vote on it? Is that, no. is that possible? Yeah. Vote on it? I, we moved here from Tampa Bay. We want a small community. We got hired to a big community. So why did turn this into another Norfolk? We don't need to. We, people that live here want a small community. Otherwise, they move to Norfolk or Omaha. Are you referring to shop? I'm referring to just expanding, expanding out period. We want a small community. The problem we've had over the years and it became kind of evident when I came here was is we didn't have anywhere for our kids to stay here. We didn't have jobs for them to stay here. So then the effort became an effort. I mean, we had a hard time getting anybody to look at moving here, the business, uh, come here to grow here with us so we could grow with them. Mr. Mayor, um, I'm his wife, and we did come from a huge town. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason that we decided that we wanted to live in the area and we visited here and we fell in love with the people here and the atmosphere here. And, you know, everybody's very nice to each other. If this annexation thing has everybody up in arms and we can't agree, why can't we put it to a vote? Why can't we put it on a special ballot and let the people decide? Well, the same people that had enough sense to elect you guys will have enough sense to make the decision for the city. For the most part, the businesses do agree with them. Not just the businesses, the people that live here. <laughs> oh, no. The businesses are being an annex. No, I mean, why don't we have the people, the ones that pay the taxes, the ones that live here, the people that show up? Why don't we have them vote? Why don't we do a special vote? Your taxes are going to be reduced. I think it would depend on the circumstances. If I felt like it wasn't, if the means of doing it was bad for my family, I would not. Oh, that was the scenario. They were going to be lowered. I would want to know how they plan on lowering that. Because a lot of the time when people call it lower taxes, there's a reason for it. Can we vote yeah. on it, Joe? Can we? Or the city? Alan, you're not going to be a reason. Well, no, that's me. For right now, Alan, you can't. So we're at that point. We can't. So that's this, yeah. Yeah, but Joe, this whole thing. Well, Tom, do you realize most of the businesses were annexed and they're fine with it? You realize that? Joe, you can why are you coming up with there? most what of the businesses? businesses? Because when I I'm talk to businesses, I don't find a lot of support. I think out west you have some support. Oh, I'm sorry, Tim. What? Where are you coming up with most businesses are fine with it, that you're annexing in? Because I'll agree going out west you don't have a lot of opposition. I think they're all right with it. When you go east, I can't find one of them that wants to be annexed. You may want east that wants to be annexed. Yeah. 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 What, what? Well, don't don't use you think I want to be annexed? I don't know what business, business that wants to be annexed. Out uh, east. Already. Bongard. They're not east, they're west. Already. They want the TIF money. I don't know. We could ask Bongard. Has anyone done that? Yes. Yeah. Bongard gets the TIF money. Are they here tonight? The city gets the sales tax. That's we pay. And it's discouraging to me that you guys want to try to lower your taxes off of my back. I would certainly like to slow down. And Can't and ask for money. Does Farmers Pride want to be um, in it? Joe? Yeah. Wait till you have somebody that wants to come in and then talk about it. So, Tom, you're going to tell the guy from Shopville. Six we'll, months we'll from now. We'll get back with you in six he months can, from now. He can find go out, out and talk to Ed Hemingway or Larry Baker and say, I've got an option to buy this ground. Do you really think that would happen? Tom, did you yeah. talk to you when you started your business? What's that? Who did you talk to when you started your business? I 
came to the city and I asked if they would redo my parking lot, which was a mess. And you know what the mess is right there by the church. And they said, no, we can't do that. Because if we do that, we're going to start a precedent. And we can't do that. Because we'll have to pay for everybody. We're all black folk. This isn't good for the town. It don't make sense. Some might. You had a comment about bringing business in and get jobs. We have more jobs available than we have people right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. down the street, any place you want to we'll one, see the people. When, when businesses have tried to come here, and they've been comfortable over that 35 years, they found that the labor market here was not sufficient to carry their business. So what it takes is managing to get a business that matches our labor, and it's a tough match. So before we can ever start with anything, we need to have availability to do some. Next thing is matching it up, and, and it isn't easy out here. You think, oh, there's all kinds of people working out here. There's not. There's not the labor market to support uh, some of these businesses. So now we found that out. I, I, I read in the paper someplace that, that uh, they considered the western portion of the city to be a blighted area mm -hmm. because it didn't have curves and sidewalks. Is what I read someplace. It's uh, rural area shouldn't have curves and sidewalks because you know, people have asked about this tip and they said, well, is this right? Is that right? The legislature set up the rules. And so uh, they tried to change them this year. They tried to make it where it was more restrictive. And uh, I think one of the problems with that is that they threw it out because that restriction then stopped some of the growth that could occur out here. And if that's one of the rules they made, then that's their rule. It isn't ours. All we do is see what the rule book is and then follow the rule book to try to do something that fits those rules. And you don't bend them. You fit what you have. It well, fits them. If you don't, you can't use them. I think that's why Hyde House was not a really good study because then it wouldn't be a wide area because of the value of the house. No, I think that was a division line of uh, that development crossed right across there. So, you know, uh, you're talking about blighted areas. Our house is a blighted area. At first, I was kind of upset. Didn't our house was blighted. Well, it's just basically when there's a certain percentage of property that in the area. So, it doesn't mean that every house has to be very good. Actually, LD. For us, it's been a good deal because there's some areas that opened up with that that wouldn't have been available without that ruling. So it actually helped the other thing. Joe, I think one of the things that, that I don't know whether you're missing it or what, but the reason that people are here, we've had stuff. Now, my prime example of those two monsters we got set, or four of them sitting over there. We continue to have stuff jammed down our throats, whether we, as a group, as a voting body, want it or not. And that's one of the reasons that, uh, and I appreciate the fact that you're actually here without uh, the council, but I see the city attorney is here, but he's the president. Uh, well, I know, but his presence is here. But anyway, I think, you know, I think the people, the reason a lot of people here, they're sick and tired of people, three or four people making a decision, we're going to ram it through, and you know that was the attitude of your old city supervisor, to hell with asking anybody, you know that's true, to get anything done, just go ahead and do it. Don, that's over and done with. It's it's done. Done. No, no, it isn't. It is not, Marcelli. It's not done with. It's still no, going on. It's not working here. No. So what good is that? Up He's still person. doing it. You know, that's okay, guys. I mean, Miles not here anymore. Maybe we don't know what we've done. I mean, right. you think maybe, but we don't know. And you could accuse somebody of that, or you'll be. So, so, so anyway. Yeah. Uh, 
when the, if this property is annexed in, when does the city have to provide services to them? And what types of services will be provided? There's a plan that the city council starts to work on uh, development of a plan and there will be a request if there's somebody on that annex land that wants services. I would, wouldn't think so, they would want them, but that's... So you there. annex their property in, my misunderstanding is, you annex in Farmer's Pride, annex in Green Line, annex in Rankies. When do you provide them with utilities. A plan. With? Come I mean, do you have, do, is there a time frame it's, in the ordinance? It's like the power system at Farmer's Pride. There's certain rules by the state law that we have to follow. Okay. You just can't say, we're going to do it the month after we annex them. There's a plan that has to be put in place, and then there's meetings, there's all the what stuff the, that we went through. The statute says a year. So, so if the statute know. says a year, is the city prepared? If the statute says a year, is the city prepared to provide those services to those businesses? That's part of the plan. So I can't tell you any more than what a human can tell you. It's part of the plan. That's the next. It's the next thing. Do you happens. have? A, I mean, is it written out so you that the people can see it? You don't start that until the annexation is done. Okay, I might add something here. I just read an article in the Omaha World Herald a few days ago that the mayor of Omaha wants to next a big area into Omaha. She had in that article the amount it was going to cost, or the amount of money she was going to get from taxes from this next area, what she was going to use that money for. She also had in the article what debt is going to cost and what um, what cost was going to cost to the city. I mean, Omaha is a much bigger area, but you keep saying you don't know, you can't figure it, I, we don't understand. For the last two cities. It's the rules they've given us to play with. We can't change those rules, so we can't forecast these things. We love they just to did forecast them. Why not? Who's we? Let me tell you what the article said. Yeah. They, there were millions of dollars that they were going to get in new taxes. And, and there was a debt involved as well, and they were going to realize half a million dollars in, in taxes. That was the more. Yeah. Well, you take the power system out here at Farmers Pride, for example. So we know by those figures from the assessor, we're going to get about 159000 from the whole thing. Farmers Pride estimated to be, what, Anna, 470000 that it would cost to purchase the poles and transformers and that. That's nice. I don't know where Omaha if they have a financial consultant, but we don't know that. We have no idea what this stuff costs until you start the process to purchase it. So once that process Tom Redloff gave it to you. Tom Redloff gave it to you. No, they don't. He uh, estimated job oh, that's about one night. That's he right. estimated what some of the things. The reason they can't. and then you have to the cost of okay. um, transformers. You realize there's another one in there? It's called Blue Sky. Uh, you get the wire, you get the transformers, and you get that part of that infrastructure. But now, when you go to the Power View Board, there's Blue Sky. Blue Sky is the amount of profits that you can make off of that system, and that's a negotiable amount between this company and this company. So the city and Elkhorn are negotiating that price, so you can't say that you know what that's going to be. You have a pretty specific figure. What is what too high? Cost? What is too high? I'm just telling you that you and he can't. Said that? Do it. You have to negotiate. He had a pretty specific figure, and I'm sure he can have to give it to you. Oh, he has, it? but it isn't something, as a city, we have to be specific in what we're doing. We just can't, as a business, say, like Tom, when you built your building, you said, oh, we're going to have about $158,000 expenses. And it ended up being 175000 
Exactly, so do yeah. it before you annex it. And the problem with that is, is we're a city. We cannot guesstimate this stuff. We have to be as accurate as the engineers will give us because once the engineers decide what it is, it's on their back, not on ours anymore. They are the ones that gave us the figures to make that decision. So okay, that's so why these are variable amounts. Who's going to have to pay for it? Too? Well, on the power side of it, the, the electric has funds available to do the study, and that's how you would start start the process. So that will lower our rates. Right now, we're less than NPP. So that's the benefit of why we're doing power. Is we're, we're saving, I think, the last count, <coughs> the last two months was, I think, I had the sheet here, 49,000. That could be a lot. But that's the difference of what we're saving over NPPDs. And that was the goal of all of us. Why don't we go to the Alcorn? They're a lot cheaper. They're half. Well, you're talking a major business negotiation with the power company. So, yeah, and I'm not sure. Money. I, mean, it's not I, I can't answer that for sure because I'm sure there's probably some legal technicality that, that we're here to start with. You know, for some reason, we have our own power system, even when we were buying it from NPPD, which is if that was the case and they were cheaper, why wouldn't have we been buying it from So there's something, there's something in the rules. Not every other town's got their own generators, too. Those two generators got there. When you get the bond, there's four, or whatever it is, that you have to pay for the generator. How come your city attorney got paid eighty four thousand dollars. It's fees the same thing you would pay. Yeah, but Robert America, pays Americans more. does that for nothing. Americans do the bond work. Americans will do the bond work for that's what the bond is. they'll do it for nothing. It was more well, this is completely new to me. I have nothing to know about any knowledge of what went on with it, but I would assume there had to be some kind of a program put together to put that in place. And that program had to be built. Is that look fishy to you? No. You want it five percent? One at five percent. You guys kind of got it whittled down to eighty-four thousand. I looked at it. Yeah, they did what they thought was what they needed to do. Sometimes the appearance, Joe, of crony capitalism it, it is truly just the appearance of it is as bad as the actual act itself. We're and that's where things like that will look awful fishy to the rest. Trying to do for the populace of the town. I mean, because someday it's going to be our kids and it's going to be our grandkids that are going to be living here. So the long term of this... I think we all agree on that. Yes, We're all for that. Well, that's what we want to have. But what about the six We're million all for that. We just have different avenues. But you haven't convinced us with any numbers that this is good for us. And that's, that's what we're asking. Well, Tom, it's hard to do when the law says you can't do it. I disagree with that. I think that I say they don't do it. Do it. Yeah. That's if we can't, if we cannot get numbers. Don't do it. Because I don't want to have to move from this town to a different smaller town just to be able to live and for taxes. The you want to build it. Of the taxation system is the same as if you can build your base, we're all helping to support the community, which actually should bring that down. So if there's some additional cost, that could be Born by the, the people using the system, the water, the sewer. So it may not affect your tax. You cannot say it's that that may that that is so so That's the way operating these systems is a lot of what goes on is you try to use common sense. That's why I thought if there is a way to 